Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at another weapon system, a favorite of mine and many. It is the laser beam. So the first thing we're going to look at, as always, is how do we make it? So we're going to go in here, click on the uh, standard factory and choose the damage beam, which is what it's called in this game. So damage beam computer, go to recipe, 500 capsules, Zakana and 1000 crystal composite are required to make this computer. Uh, we're going to quickly change over. Uh, first of all, the ID for that particular one is 414 if you're in uh, creative or admin. 415 is the beams. So we're going to just take a look at those for the recipe. So again, damage beam. Damage beam module. Okay, there it is click OK let's take a look at the recipe it's a Zircana 50 per block with 100 crystal composites so that is how you make it in the standard factory now what we're gonna do is throw one together just like last time so press X I'm gonna jump in the ship we've got our symmetry down already I'm gonna throw on the power block and a single thruster that's enough for this we're then gonna put the damage beam computer right there for this one and then we're going to put on three of these. So there's your damage beam. Put it underneath this time. Okay. Now you push R on the last one to make it the output, just in case that didn't work. It's usually the for furthermost forward block in the system that will automatically be made the output. But if it ever messes up, push R. And I didn't mention that in the last two, two, two tutorials. It's more relevant once you have a more advanced weapon, but this will do. So we've got a single four block laser beam. Okay, so let's just check this out, shall we? We're gonna push T and we're gonna push T and mount that to the first hotbar slot. Pushing one, I'm gonna come around on this target, which is just here again. It's the three spaced armor basic hull. Uh, so we're gonna fire and it didn't seem to do anything. Gonna fire again. Ah, there we go. You gotta hold it down. So we're gonna do it again. Hold it down. So that's left click. Gonna try right click as well. Okay, let's see. We managed to get through one layer, and that's it. With the uh, with just the five, although that is actually smaller because I think before I had six. So let's just uh, make this fair with the other other guides. Three on each side would be six. So let's try that. Okay, so it's actually broken through two. Broken through two there. That's not bad at all. And damaged the back block as well. Excellent. Okay. So now what we're going to do, of course, just like last time is we're going to explore what you can do with the slave system. So first of all, we're going to go with the fast firing version. As you can see, this one, the firing rate is like this. And any minute now it'll fire again. There we go. So that's the firing rate standard. So if we now get, of course, this does not alter the DPS, just the volley and rate of fire. So you don't get a more powerful gun by doing this you actually end up using more energy, which is less efficient. However, it can sometimes mean the difference in combat. So that would be why you would choose to have a faster firing weapon. Okay, so here we are. Right, we're going to fire again. And as you can see, it's doing less damage, but it's not actually going to stop now. So we can just continue to go along like this, which is quite a nice aesthetic for a laser beam. Okay albeit le uh, weaker, but that does mean that charge beams actually charge up. Okay, so anyway, if we wanted to make this a uh, stronger system, what I would probably do is select the master, do this, select the slave, and do this. And let's just see, select the master one more time. I think I missed the block off, there we go. So that retains the ratio Okay, we might actually need a bit more power for this one. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just do this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, right. Firing. Yep, we're able to fire that stable. So, 
as you can see now, we're hitting for a decent amount of damage and we're cutting through. So let's try it on the fresh target. As the uh, aim points below my mouse, you can see if I press right click, it just shoots straight. It's good for cutting. Whereas if you use the right mouse button, it will always follow your uh, aim point. Okay, so yeah, that's quite a nice little little laser beam. It's only doing 18 damage per hit, but it's probably hitting quite a few times. And as you can see, it's gone right through the target, I think. Has it? Yeah, it's just gone through. So there you go, that's your laser beam. I am going to quickly touch, if you want to hang on, I'm going to touch on the missile version of this. Now there's two ways you can do this in this game. You can either take all the blocks off and put the new blocks on, and that is fine. That is fine. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. However, we only need to change the slave system. So if I want to change it over to, say, a missile computer system, what I can do is I can hold left control, use the pick remo remove filter, and choose cannon block. Okay? And then replace it with active slot. Then, by putting the missile barrels in my inventory, which are somewhere in my inventory. Where are they? Missiles. I just had some miss. I must have used them all up. Give ID. Tonino Sama. 32. 100. There we go. So now I've got missile barrels. I push 8. That's my active slot. So as you can remember, we're on clear cannon barrel and re replace with active slot. So then all I have to do is make a large enough area to cover the setup I've got here. Hit remove, and then pick an edge. It'll now change the entire weapon system to the correct type. And then all I have to do is hit C, V to unlink from the old computer, install the new computer after removing the, the uh, filter, put the new block in, link it up with V, so now it's slaved to the new missile computer, hit C on the missile computer, and then finally shift V on the replaced missile box. So what this will do will give a shotgun effect, or multi-beam effect, because uh, that's what the uh, missile slave will do. It will give you a multi-shot or something similar. And in the case of the laser, that would be um, that would be this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump out of the ship and quickly show you something else, which is also infinitely useful. I'm going to spawn a core. And I'm going to jump in it. And I'm going to use paste to paste down. If you've noticed, I've got these targets everywhere. Um, I paste them down like this, so I can pretty much have them any way around you want. There you go. And you want one down the bottom, sideways, whatever. It's no problem. Should we make it bigger this time? Yeah, there you go. Templating and saving your copies will also be covered in a later tutorial. So, back to the boat. Let's check out this shotgun laser thing, shall we? So we're going to go right up to it. Double shift gives you the orbital cam. I'm going to go right up to this thing and we're just going to hit right click and see what it does. Nothing. Bloop. Doing this. Okay. Okay, so let's increase the size of our uh, box reactor here. For all virtual space anyway. Alright, there we go. Let's try this now then, shall we? There we go. It has got quite a long reload time, but it is a scatter laser that dumps all of its power. Of course, with weapon systems, you have 50,000 storage inside your core, but eventually you are going to need to put some power capacitors on there, just so that your gun will fire longer. Example here being, I've got 50,000 power, let's fire it. And it's gone. So this is why you're going to start getting into the metagame of actually building your power system. But for the demonstrations of this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how you can connect things quickly and easily. So that'll do for this one. So thanks very much for watching. There'll be more tutorials coming your way. 
if there's a particular combo you want me to demo and we will be looking at some of them more in depth than just a simple how to hook it up and uh, and so on so yeah thanks again hit like if this helped and please share to people that have trouble with the game so thanks again and i'll see you all next time